finally getting to use those grand rosebud spikes, three inch spikes that uh, Hayward Meisner down there in the Nova Scotia, a friend of mine, he, he sent me those guys and they're gonna make this door really sound. So on the weekend, we had some help here. We had my uh, our son Shane and two strapping young lads, friends of his showed up, Gordon, Carl. And um, yeah, we got the door frame, we got the track up. Uh, Kathy and I are sheeting it today and we should be done by the end of the day. But uh, a little wee bit of a story, it has absolutely nothing to do with doors. But my, my dad used to say, he said, if you're an employer of people, he said, never hire someone who smokes a pipe or doesn't wear a belt. He said, because they're either gonna be trying to keep their pants up or keep the darn pipe lit. So I, I, he was getting that work ethic, if you would. And then Terry in our comment section said a story about, uh, uh, about this fellow named Patty over there in Ireland. And, and uh, he complained to his boss that his wheelbarrow wasn't working right and he, he wanted a new one. And the boss said, well, what's wrong with it? And, t and Patty says, well, the darn thing goes squeak, squeak, squeak. And, and his boss says, he says, you're fired. And he says, why? He says, because that darn wheelbarrow should be going squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> anyway, a little bit of work ethic there. And speaking of it, I better get back at this. Use up these fine nails.